We made the world's smallest origami bird. So this is a bird that folds up and its full footprint is smaller than a hair diameter. Wait, smaller than this kind of hair? You look at the diameter of that hair, this, this bird is smaller than that diameter. The origami that you make is only as small as the thickness of the paper that you use. And so in order to make origami designs at the micro scale, you have to use paper that is 10,000 times thinner than a normal sheet of paper. Scientists at Cornell University say the material their origami bird is made out of is about 30 atoms thick. They're just literally uh, nanoscopic in size where you could count the number of atoms from the top and the bottom compared to a sheet of paper, which might be 100,000 atoms thick. Our group has been working over the past few years to develop these kinds of papers. And then an additional challenge that we had to solve was that we can't really shrink origami artists down to the micro scale. But how do you even fold origami that tiny? Simple, it folds itself. We don't have nano screwdrivers or tiny technicians that can go in and fix parts together. So instead, we have to fabricate the computer chip, which would be the brains of the machine. We have to fabricate, again, in 2D, using the same technology, a sheet that can then fold itself up and become the three-dimensional structure. The little origami bird is cute and all, but why would a team of Ivy League scientists spend their time making what looks like tiny toys? Our group is interested in the fundamental principles, the science principles, behind shrinking machines in terms of their design, their fabrication, and operation uh, down to, this, to the micro scale. It's an enormous engineering challenge to figure out how to make something like that have the kind of functionalities we want. Think of all the things that robots do for us at the macro scale. Roombas sweep our floors. Factory robots build our cars and other machines. Robots perform surgeries and explore distant planets. Cohen hopes developments like the world's smallest origami bird will lead to the same level of robot function on the micro scale. Could we have a micro factory that transforms the way we make things and develop surgical robotic instruments that can perform more delicate surgeries on length scales smaller by a factor of 10 compared to what we can currently do. What sort of worlds will we be able to investigate and explore when we can now interact with biology on the scale of cellular organisms? That's a lot of hope flying on the wings of a tiny origami bird. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T.C. Newman.